While sitting at the back of his classroom, Om Sum felt a tickle in his throat. His eyes widened. A cough was coming. But instead of letting it out, he decided to hold it in. At first, nothing seemed to happen. Om Sum gave a proud little smile to himself. No noise, no fuss. He had kept the class quiet. But a strange pressure began building in his chest. It felt like a balloon was slowly inflating inside him. He shifted in his seat, thinking it would go away. It didn't. In fact, it got worse. As the lesson went on, the pressure moved up toward his head. His cheeks puffed out, his eyes watered, and the tickle returned, fiercer than before. He clenched his jaw and squeezed his lips together. He was determined not to cough. He didn't want to draw attention or be sent to the nurse's office, but his body had other plans. The trapped cough started bouncing around inside him like a pinball. It made his throat itchy, his ears pop, and his head feel oddly warm. By lunchtime, he felt exhausted. His chest ached, and he could hardly focus on his sandwich. Even breathing felt strange, like air was moving in the wrong direction. He sat at the edge of the lunch table quieter than usual. Later that evening at home, he tried to lie down and rest, but the feeling hadn't gone. In fact, it had gotten worse. His mom noticed he looked pale and uncomfortable. A doctor visit followed, and after a quick check, the answer was simple. Holding in a cough could cause all sorts of trouble. Coughing was the body's way of clearing the airways, not something to be ashamed of or hidden. From that day on, Om Sum <coughs> never tried to trap his cough again. Hmm. How and why do we cough? It's an old form of yoga, dude. No. Before explaining the how part, let's first understand why we cough. Coughing is body's protective mechanism which helps us clear our breathing passage of dust, microbes, irritants, etc. There are two types of cough, wet and dry. They may be caused due to common cold, flu, allergies, smoking, etc. Now, let us see how we cough. When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, the epiglottis closes off the windpipe. Then, the rib and abdominal muscles contract, putting pressure on the lungs. But, as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. Why does our cough get worse at night? Firstly, when we lie down, gravity causes mucus to accumulate in our throat, leading to irritation and triggering the cough reflex. <coughs> Secondly, acid reflux may occur more frequently at night, as lying flat can allow our stomach acid to travel upward, thus irritating our throat. Thirdly, the body's reduced ability to suppress coughing during sleep makes the problem worse. Lastly, dry indoor air can also contribute, causing additional throat irritation and thus coughing during the night. Hmm.